YouTubers make a killing from ads featured on their videos, right? Well, not as much as you might think. How much do YouTubers make from AdSense? Let's break down the actual process of making money from AdSense to see how the sausage gets made. And believe it or not, not all popular YouTube channels are making crazy cash. We'll talk about the five factors that influence AdSense earnings later in this video. And if you're wishing there was an alternative to make money on YouTube with no minimum view requirement, consider it granted. More on that later in this video. How do creators earn money on AdSense? Here's how it works. Google, Facebook, or another distributor will place ads in front of your audience. And on YouTube, you'll see skippable or sometimes non-skippable. I know they're annoying sometimes, right? But those ads play before or during videos if a channel is monetized. And the ad distributor will then split the profits with the channel. The amount of money that you're able to earn through this advertising depends on a variety of factors, which we'll get to in a moment. It really comes to the CPM, which is the cost per mil or cost per thousand. This is the rate that an advertiser is charged per 1000 impressions on an ad. And it's important to note that an ad running on your video doesn't always equal ad revenue. You only earn ad revenue if the person actually engages with the ad. So what this is saying is that you have no control over how much money you make from AdSense. You're your relationship with the YouTube algorithm is going to determine how many people actually see your videos and the quality of the ad is going to determine how many people actually engage, which will actually pay you. So you're making these videos, hoping that people will advertise on them, hoping that people will click on them, which also makes them not watch your videos. Don't you want people to watch your videos? There's a better way, which I'm gonna share with you in this video. Before I get into this, I wanna know how many people watching this already have a YouTube channel and are working their way towards getting into the YouTube Partner Program so you can make money from AdSense. Let me know in the comments. Now I wanna clarify, I'm not saying that YouTube AdSense is bad. I certainly make some money from YouTube AdSense, but I don't rely on it. It's not my primary source of income. What I'm gonna share with you can help you to make thousands, even millions, if you do it the right way. I have clients making six, seven, even eight figures starting from their YouTube channel. So there are five factors that influence your CPM and your AdSense earnings. The first one is user engagement. Are your users skipping the ad? Your best bet is that they watch the ad all the way through and visit the advertiser's website for you to make a little bit of money from it. And again, it's just a little bit of money. The second factor that influences your earnings is when advertisers are buying ad space. The CPMs will also differ based on the seasons or global events. For example, maybe around Cyber Monday, around the holidays, the advertising costs can really fluctuate. Or if there's something really big going on in the world or in pop culture, for example, if you can get an ad for the hottest blockbuster movie of the summer, that's a really excellent opportunity for potential AdSense earnings if that's the ad that shows up in front of your video. But again, you don't have control over what ads show up before your videos. The third factor that affects your earnings is the algorithm. You're likely to experience more revenue if the algorithms are favoring your content. So for instance, if suddenly thousands of people are searching for a particular topic, YouTube will start recommending referral traffic to those videos. I have a client of mine, his name is Corlando Scott. He is a lawyer for surrogate pregnancies. Now recently in pop culture, Tony Robbins announced that he had a baby via surrogate. So this was something that people were searching for a lot and something that was in the news, Corlando Scott, my client who is an expert in this area, made a video so that people could find more information about what they were already searching for on Google and YouTube. So now if that topic is something that people are really actively searching for, related advertisers could choose to run ads to this video and his video could be the one making some good money from AdSense from it. Before I move on to the next factor, I wanna make sure that you're subscribed to this channel because I'm putting out tips like this every week to help you really monetize your YouTube channel and your business. So make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Okay, the fourth factor that affects your earnings is the advertiser-friendly content. Ever since the adpocalypse of 2017, YouTube has really cracked down on its definition of advertiser-friendly content. YouTube has an entire online guide that can help you understand their definition of advertiser-friendly content. So videos might get flagged if they're not seen as advertiser-friendly. When this happens, a creator can appeal the decision to YouTube and request a manual review. And then the reviewer can either agree with the system's assessment or can overrule it and return 
turn the video to full monetization. So let me emphasize this. You can make videos hoping they'll be monetized, but YouTube can say, Nope, it doesn't pass the test. There's even some big YouTubers with millions of followers, some you might have even heard of in the news recently, that got in trouble or even posted content about things that weren't user-friendly and their whole channel got demonetized. If AdSense is where they solely rely on their income, they'd be in a lot of trouble. And the fifth factor that affects your YouTube earnings is YouTube SEO. SEO is search engine optimization. It's the keywords and the phrases that you use in your title, your description, your playlists. And this is how your video gets noticed by Google's search engine. You can make content based on topics that you know are being searched, but depending on the search engine, depending on the algorithm, or on the competition of other videos on this similar topic, your video might not always get viewed. In my opinion, it's best not to rely solely on AdSense. Yes, AdSense is great, but consider it like a passive income bonus. You wanna be able to incorporate other revenue streams into your YouTube presence instead. So now that you know the pros and cons about YouTube AdSense, I want you to go check out the next video on my channel called How to Earn Money on YouTube Without AdSense. These are the exact same strategies that my clients are using to earn six, seven, even eight figures in their business starting with YouTube. And it's something that you can completely do too. There's three different strategies that I share and break down for you in that video. I'll link it below and I'll see you on that video.